every one of you is now a world champion. We understand it was a crash now involving a driver, Jules Bianchi. They have not made payment. They don't have any idea what's going on. Very few drivers get to experience in their lives a car like this. We can fix the noise, but stop the whinging. I will be the first to let you know. A man called Max Verstappen will become the youngest ever Formula One driver. Sebastian Vettel is to leave the world champions Red Bull. No matter where I go, I will succeed. Everything is going according to plan, and uh, let's, let's, let's wait and see. Whatever I'm doing next year, it's, it's going to be exciting, it's going to be a challenge. Breaking news, and it's bad news from Russia. Not great days for these uh, two F1 teams. England! We are the champions. Performance, we've seen a reasonable range. It's been a year of seasonal change. And a pretty big part of the reason is how things went at the start of the season. See, apart from relieving Lewis of a chance of achieving a win before he could even begin, his Mercedes car wasn't hard to believe in. But his failure led his partner to leave him. Speaking of failure, Seb had a nightmare week in Australia. In qualifying, he slipped to the back. Luckily, Ricardo picked up the slack. Thank God for the teammate, until he gets disqualified for fuel flow, leaving the team with a clean slate. Magnussen's car had a magnificent start. Initially, the Dane claimed third place. The first new driver since 2007 to take a podium in his first race. But new regulations were taken at all. It's not enough to simply drive fast. Earth failures, oil pressure problems, engine failures, claim five cars. See, we all face challenges of some sort and sometimes it's deeper than the title. So on this 20th anniversary of Schumacher's first, we're still saying keep fighting, Michael. Feel them coming for me and you. Yeah, it's been a time of seasonal change, as can be seen with Red Bull. After four golden years with Vettel, by comparison, this one's been dreadful. Come on, guys. See, without the focus on car design, other engines left them far behind. So the team seemed overwhelmed. And with no more Adrian Newey to control the helm, they could be out at sea like a drifting Titanic. Not to mention the shift in dynamics. <laughs> thanks, thanks everyone. There's no question the new kid has risen, whether by good fortune or stupid decisions. So much so that he's thrown into question previously undisputed positions. But you just gotta work with the blueprint you're given. And a race is a great way to prove that you're driven. What's happened? Yeah, something's not good up there. You would definitely know he's got the support of many people around the world. See, essential to this game is loads of support. Formula One is a whole different sport. It's an emotional and technological struggle. And this can lead to financial trouble. Money is the ultimate limitation. It can force a team into administration, as it did with Marusha and with Caterham had staff working hours without being paid for them. But money doesn't make you immune to change, even when your purse is protected. Two former champs, well-versed and respected, and Ferrari still did worse than expected. Clearly a tough year for Raikkonen, the vet who came back to strike again, alongside Alonso, whose driving tends to outdo his car time and time again. Now in this year's title race, the teammates occupy the rival space. Both showed ambition, neither lacked vision. The actual tactician and the natural practitioner. In race one, Nico hit the ground running and Lewis was unable to attack the track. But after the Germans' confident victory, the Brit claimed four wins back to back. Now as Bahrain hosted its first race night, it also played host to this first place fight as the two forced each other to budge for miles. But by this point, it was still hugs and smiles. I strongly dislike coming second to Lewis. By mid-season, things began to change. Competition assumed a more rapid charge. The two seemed reluctant to have a laugh, and there was talk of bad calls and sabotage. Unbelievable. Through the squabbles of one-upmanship, Hamilton couldn't predict his luck would dip, allowing Rosberg to lead the way. But he did say he'd make it back either way. And lo and behold, here we are. 
All drivers have come really far, whether defying the odds or amending an error. In some ways, it's the end of an era. But even though he's finishing under second, Sebastian Vettel's still the youngest legend. His run with Red Bull's been monumental, but the hunter must go where the hunger beckons, because that's the impulse when you intend to win. I'm sure Ferrari expressed the same sentiment. The hunter will go where the hunter can go. And if I had to do the same again, I would, my friend, Fernando. Yeah, performance-wise, we've seen a reasonable range. This has been a year of seasonal change. And then someone should tell me that the sport is boring. Engine rules left many resentful, but the sport has still proven very eventful. Real pacing, real chasing, wheel to wheel racing, dread filling clashes, head spinning crashes at Silverstone alone, a field of rolling stones. Was it the danger or the skill that stole the show? Your heart and your head, both are involved, both are the gold. Open your soul, just hoping to hold the one thing you fight for, that title. It can never be too loud for more screams. You can never be too proud of your team. Just know you adapted to the seasonal change. The season of 2014.